Hi guys, today we'll be doing these simple, demon-inspired doll wings. After my angel wing video and following angel repaint, a lot of you guys asked to see some sort of demon, so that's what I'll be making these wings for, so stay tuned for that. I went for a very basic set of wings that looks kind of like a bat's. The first thing I did, like I usually do, is to make a sketch of the basic design. This both shows me how I need to put my project together, but also what size. I made these to fit in Monster High doll that I plan to repaint, but you can make them in any size you want to fit any doll. If you're unsure on how you want to design your wings, you can simply go on Google and type in demon wings or devil wings, and there's plenty of inspiration. For the basic construction, I'll be using wire, since this is both flexible and also sturdy. The gauge or wire will depend on how big you want the wings to be, depending on the doll. I start with a long piece of wire to follow the kind of top bone of the wing. Once you have that, you want to cut shorter pieces and form them to be the other bones coming out from the joint. Once you got all your pieces cut, it should look like this. The little claw thing at the joint I'll be making later. Next you want to get out a good strong glue and also a sheet of plastic to put on top of your sketch to both protect that and your work surface. Glue all your bone pieces together at the joint, making sure they're all connected and then leaving them to set. Next up, you're gonna need some liquid latex. I just got this at my local craft store. Using a silicone sculpting tool, because it's easy to clean, I carefully go around both the inside of the wings and on top of the wire and cover it completely in the latex. I decided on this combo of wire and latex since it will give a both sturdy resolve and also very bendy. Once you're done with the first coat, you can gently go around the edge and correct if the latex kind of ran out a little bit and distorted the shape, but you don't have to worry too much about it because you can trim it away afterwards. Once the first coat of latex has dried, then you go back in, only applying latex on top of the bone pieces, ergo the wire, and this is to both make sure they are completely encapsulated, but also to build up the shape and make it more three-dimensional. I repeated this process for two or three more times to build up the shape to make it look like I wanted it. Next we're gonna start adding some color with acrylic paint. For the inside part of the wings, I mixed up some red, some grey and some black paint before adding in some liquid latex and mixing it together until it was no longer pasty and still more of a liquid consistency. Then I carefully applied it to the wing. A little side note here, it didn't occur to me while I was doing this, but I had gotten a lot of air bubbles mixed into my liquid latex as I mixed it quite vigorously with the paint and this caused there to be air bubbles once I applied it to the wings as well and I didn't think to pop them because I thought they would pop on their own but a lot of them didn't so they either left still bubbles in the dry result or tiny holes so you want to be mindful of this. Once the base there was dry I mixed together some grey paint with more latex and then spread this on the bone parts. Let this all dry and then the first side is done. Next you're gonna use some talcum powder to gently powder the surface of the wing. This is because the latex naturally dries a bit sticky and if you don't do this it'll stick to everything else and including itself. Once 
Once you powdered the whole surface, you can gently pull it away from the plastic and flip it over. Now you can carefully trim away any little squiggly bits around the sides. Then I covered the entire back side of the wing in the mix of grey and latex. Once that was dry I went in again with just some pure latex and built up the shape of the bones again like we did on the front. And I did this in a few layers. While that is drying we can work on the little bone claw to go by the joint. I used a bit of polymer clay from the brand Fimo in just the regular white and roll it up to make this little fang shape. Once you're happy with the shape, bake it according to Packers instructions. After cooling, I refined this shape a little bit using a file, although it's kinda hard to show since the piece was so small. Then I used some yellow, grey and black acrylic paint to make it more like a roughed up bone. Finish it off with a matte varnish to seal in the paint. Now returning to the wing, we're gonna cover the now raised bone parts with more of the grey and latex mixture and at the same time adhering the bone part to the joint. Once this is all dry, you're gonna powder it with the talcum as well. Then you can flip it over and add a bit more latex to the exposed bone. Once dry, powdered with a final bit of talcum and then you're done. And here's my finished set of wings. Now you can bend them as you'd like to make them look a little more lively. If you want to, you can join them by the wire in the middle and add some strings to create a harness, kind of like I did in my angel wings video. However, I'll be keeping them separate because I'll be adding them to a doll who already has holes in her back from previous wings. This is the doll I'm referring to and the holes in her back would allow me to simply glue the wings in place. And here we are, our finished wings. I just stuck them onto this dress form using a piece of sticky tack temporarily so you guys could see them better. This method will give you a possible set of wings that you can style however you want depending on the look you'd like to go for. I hope you guys enjoyed this project and that you guys stay tuned for the upcoming repaint while I'll be using them. Thank you so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon. Bye!